Today's Chumash, Chumash with Rashi, is Parshas Bereshis Sheni, or middle of Pedic Bay's Pasuk Dalit. The Pasuk says, Edo Tildes Kashamayim Vaharis Be Borom. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. Be Yoim on the day. On the day that Hashem made earth and heaven. Ela, Rashi says, What does it mean? These, which were mentioned above, What does it mean when they were created on the day that Hashem made? Rashi says, This teaches us that all, anything that was created on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, etc., Really, were created on the first day. Davar acher bi barim. Another explanation of the word bi barim. What does it mean bi barim? Behei beraim. He created them with the letter hey. Shenemar bi ya Hashem tzuri As it says, for ya, which is the hey, Hashem is the rock of eternity. Now, the base of Yisus Alolu shall Hashem Yotzrishnei Lom. Hashem created with the two letters Yud and Hey. He fashioned two words, two worlds. And it teaches us that Elam Hazeh is created with the Hey. Remez, why was it created Dafka with the Hey? Remez Yordu Lamata Liri Shachas Kehei Zeish Shesusum Mikol Atzodim. This teaches us that the hay, that the why was it created with the hay? Because the Rishayim will descend below to see the Shachat, uh, to see the netherworlds, like the hay, which is closed on all sides and open at the bottom. For the wicked, for them, the wicked will descend through the hay. Pasuk hay, the whole Siachat and all the trees. Now, no tree of the field was yet on the earth. And neither did any of the herb of the field yet grow. For Hashem has not brought rain upon the earth. And there's no man to work the soil. What does it mean yet? There was uh, no tree on the field of the earth. What does that mean? As she says, Kol terem loshin ad lehu. The word terem has the meaning of not yet. Ve'ini loshin kedem does not mean before. Ve'ini nifo lemer hitrim, and it cannot be made into a verb form. As she lemer hiktim. To say hitrim as one says hiktim. V'zameichiach, and the Pasuk proves this. V'yedacha ki terem tiro, and there's another Pasuk, you will not yet fear. This too should be explained to mean that no tree has yet was not on the earth. And the creation of the world was completed on the sixth day before man was created. What does it mean? Nor did the herb of the field yet grow. Had not yet grown. And on the third day where it's written, let the earth bring forth. The plants... Had not yet emerged. But they stood at the entrance of the ground until the sixth day. And why? Because he not caused it to rain. Well, my time, Rashi says, um, why did it not rain? Because there was no man to work the soil. And there was no one to recognize the benefit of rain. When man came and understood that they were a essential for the world, he spalled with some chohalilonis vachayim. He davened for them, and they fell on the trees, and the herbs sprouted. Hashem lekim, Hashem God. Rashi says, "Ha'abaye u'shmei." Yudke vovke is his name. Elihim who shalit v'shem for the lakel. Elikim means that he's a ruler and judge over the entire world. Saint Peter said, "Behold, mocking with the fruit day, and this is defined everywhere according to the simple explanation: Hashem, Shuali Kim, Hashem, who is the ruler and judge." Pasuk Vav, Veid Yalim in Aretz, and a mist ascended from the earth, Yishka Spenei Adama, and watered the entire ground.
So Rashi of Eidiala, what does it mean a mist ascended? Concerning the creation of man. He brought up the waters of the deep and water the clouds to soak the earth. So what did he do? He brought up the waters of the deep and water the clouds to soak the earth. And man was created. As she says, like a baker, first the baker puts water, then afterwards he needs the dough. So to Hashem, he watered, and then he formed man. Hashem formed man. From the ground, from the dust of the ground. And he breathed into Adam, his nostrils, the soul of life. And a man became a living soul. So what does it mean he formed? As she says, Shte Yitzirus. Vayitzar is spelled with two yuds, which hence at two creations. Yitzirus lo ilam azev, Yitzir lo tchias amesim. A creation for this world and a creation for tchias amesim. Avo bevehema sheni madas ladin. However, a animal which is not going to stand in judgment. Like nifta bitzirus eishne yudin. Two yuds are not written, and the word vayitzar describing the creation it only says yitzar with one yud. What does it mean? He created it all from an adama, dust from the ground. Savar va'afarei mikol adama ma'abaruches. He gathered dust from the entire earth. Shkomakim shiyamis sham te kilata the kvura. So he create he gathered dust from the entire four court directions, so that whenever a man would die, the earth would accept him and bury him. Davar acher. Another explanation. Not all afarei mimakim. He took his dust from. Him. He took his dust from the place. Shinamar, as the Torah says, Boi Mizbach Adam Atasali shall make me an altar of earth. Halavai Tiyalei Chapar of Yuchalamit. Only it would be an atonement for him so that he might endure. What does it mean by Yivach Ma'apav? He breathed into his nostrils. Asalam and Atachtenim and Halyenim. He made him of earthly matter and of heavenly matter. Now, what does it mean he breathed into his nostrils? What does it mean he made him of Tachtenim and Alienim? So, Guf mena Tachtenim, or Nishama mena Alienim. The Guf was from the earthly matter, and the soul was from the heavenly matter. Because on the first day, Shemayim and Aretz were created, Bashini Baro Rakia Alienim, and then on the second day, he created Rakia, which is has to do with Alienim. And on the third day, he said, let the dry land appear for the early beings. On the fourth day, he created a, the ma'iris, the luminaries for the heavenly beings. On the fifth day, he commanded, let the water swarm. So, on the sixth day, he, it became necessary to create for both the heavenly and the earthly beings. Because if not, the creations of the world would be jealous. Why? For these would exceed those by the creation of one day. So he had to make a combination of both. A living soul. Cattle and beasts were also called living souls. But this one of the man is the most alive from all of them. Should it taste by David Dibber because man is given intelligence and speech? Pasik Ches Vitanelim Ganvin Aiden Mikedam. Hashem planted a garden in the east and Hashem planted a garden in east from the in Aiden from the east. Yasem Sham and he placed there as Adam Ashri Yatsar the man. He had forms. Zagrashi Mikedem b'Mizrachi Shal Eden Nata Sagan Mikedem in the east of Eden. He planted the garden. Mtemar. And if you're going to ask, Karik Far Kosav Yibras Adam, it already says, and he created man. Rashi says, Reisi Bereishis Shal Rebelazer Bereishis Rebelisi Aglili Reisi Bebraisis Shal Rebelazer Bereishis Rebelisi Aglili Melamet Beis Midish Atrin Nidashes Vazu Achas Mehen. So Rashi says. I saw in the Brice of Rebbe the son of Rebbe concerning the 32 principles by which the tear is expounded, and this is one of them. A general statement followed by a specific act 
the latter constitutes a specific. Now, let's clarify the first general statement. By Yibra Adam, Hashem created man, this is the general statement. So, it left obscure when he created, and he, and it he left his his ma'isav also obscure how Hashem created man. Chazar repeats Hashem alikim. So Hashem repeats and explains, and it says that Hashem Hashem formed. He made Gan Eden grow for him, and he placed him in Gan Eden, and he caused a deep sleep to fall upon him. So the listener may think that this is another story. But it's only the detail account of the former. In the case of the animal, the terror repeats and writes, and Hashem had formed from the ground all the beasts in the field. Why? In order to explain, and Hashem brought them to man to name them and to teach us that the birds were created from the mud. caused to sprout from the ground. Hashem caused to sprout from the ground every tree pleasant to see and good to eat. And the tree of life in the midst of the garden. And the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So Rashmar Yitzmach and caused to sprout in and hagan cause of madam they are speaking about the garden the say hagan in the middle of the garden the ants in the middle of the garden passing yud the nar yitzme eden and a river flowed out of gan eden out of eden a hashkes hagan to water the garden and we shami parted and from there sprouted while la barashim and became four heads shame after pishing the name of the first one is pishing who has saved as called Eretz Havila, this is the one that encompasses the land of Havila. Asher Sham Hazav, where there is gold. So Rashi Pishin and Nilis Nahar Mitzrayim. This is the Nile, the river of Egypt. Malshim Shemema Mizbarchan Va'ilin Umashkenes Aretz, and because its waters are blessed, and they rise and water the land. Nikra Pishin, it's called Pishin. Kumayu Fashu Prashov, and their riders shall increase. Dover Acher Pishin, another explanation of Pishin. Shemegadol pishtin because it causes flax to grow. Shnei ma'am Mitzrayim, like it says in regards to Mitzrayim, ubeishu oivdei pishtin, and those who work at flax shall be ashamed. Yud beis uzahav aratz ayi teiv, and the gold of the land is good. Teiv sham, teiv sham ha bedoylach. There is the crystal, the eben hashayim and the onyx stone. Yud gimel. Shemana Sheni Gichin and the name of the second river is Gichin. Who I say this is the one that encompasses Kolaris Kush, all the land of Kush. The Vashik Gichin Shaya Hilif Vahemia. It flowed and roared. Vahemiosig Delamait, and his roaring was very great. Tamay, Ki Yigach, as the Pasik says, if an ox scores, Shemana Giach Vahilif Vahemia, for he gores and goes along and roars. Idal v'shem anar shlishi yichid dekel, and the name of the third river is yichid dekel. Who are yidach kid mas asher? This is the one that flows from the east of Asher. Anar revi upras, and the fourth river is pras. Yichid dekel zonish shemim of chadin v'kalin, because its waters are sharp and light. Pras, what does it mean? Yifreni shemim of potin v'davin and mavnes adam, because its waters are fruitful and increase abundantly and make people healthy. Kush v'ashor, adam leko hayu. Didn't exist then. Because of Amikral, Shema Osid, and the Teira is writing this of the fact that it will in the future exist. Kidbas Ashur, the Mizunachash Ashur, this means to the east of Ashur. Who pros, Ahoshu al Kulam, most important of all rivers, Aniskral Shem, Eretz Yisrael, because it's mentioned in conjunction with the land of Eretz Yisrael. Pasik Tesvav, Yikachad Neli, Emes Adam, Ashem took. Took Adam by Yenichel by Gan Eden, and he placed him in Gan Eden Avda to work it. Ulishom ran to guard it. So Rashi by Yikach, what does it mean? He took him. The kocha with the vadim noim upito the kados. He took him with pleasant words and enticed him to enter. Tezai meitzav neli him. Hashem commanded man. They must say mikol eitzah agon 
of every tree of the garden you may eat whatever you want. However, but from the tree of good and evil, you're not allowed to eat from it. From the day that you're going to eat there, you shall die. And as the Mepharshim say, not that he died, because we know he learned he lived 930 years, but rather, what does it mean? Moist almost that now he has the ability to die. Had Adam not eaten from the Eitzadas Tevera, he would have lived forever. It says, Hashem said, It's not good for man to be alone. As the late Ezer Kenegde, I shall make for him a Ezer, a help opposite him. So, Rashi, Le Teva Yes, Le Yem Rishtedu Shreyas Hain. People. Should not say there are two uh, Rishuis, dominions. You have Hakadosh Baruch Hu Bayenim Yafetu Bein Leizug. Hashem is alone; it doesn't have a partner. So have a Tachtenim Bein Leizug, and people down over here also have no uh, people. The earthly creatures also don't have a mate. Azir connected. What does it mean? Help opposite him. Zacha, if he is worthy, Azir should be a helpmate. Le Zacha, if he's not worthy, connected Le Lachem, then she will fight him. You test, but you sat nearly him in Adama, and I shall form from the earth. Every beast of the field and every uh, creature, every um, bird of the heavens. And he brought it to man to see what he would call it. Whatever the man called each living thing, that was his name. So Rashi, but you sat in Adama. And Hashem formed from the earth. He tzida yasi and we're the malav biyasal him as chayas arutz v'gamer. This forming is identical with the making mentioned above, like it says biyasal him as chayas arutz. And Hashem made the beast of the earth. But here it comes to explain that the birds were created from the mud. Shavar the malav minamayim nivro, because it said above that they were created from the water. And here it says from the earth. Teaches us also that the time of their forming immediately on that day, he brought them to man to name them. And the words of the Agoda, this Yitzir has the meaning of like conquering. When you besiege a city, that he has. Subjugated them under a person, a man's um, rulership. So, so so far, so you have to rearrange the, the meaning of the pasuk. Every living creature to which man would give a name, that would be its name forever.